Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Skip E. Low Looks at Hollywood. Tonight's guests are rock star Angela Bowie and also comedian Kenny Sasha. And now here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood's one of a kind, Skip E. Low. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a very interesting show for you. Do you know what we have? We have one of England's most beautiful ladies. She is beautiful and she is a rock star all of her own. Let's give her a nice big welcome, Miss Angela Bowie. Hello, Angela. Hello, lovely oh, to see how you. How are you? Extremely well, thank you. Yes, you were married to David Bowie. For how yes. long? Um, <laughs> gosh, seven or eight years. I hate to ask you that question. Everybody asks you that same question. No, right. it's all right, I just can never remember. I feel a bit of a fool. Seven or eight years, Seven, I think. eight years, really? Yes. And you have a child by him? Yes. yes. A little boy? A son, A yes. son, yes. Not that little anymore. He isn't? He's growing up. Yes. And what's his name? He's an unusual uh, name. Joe. Well, his name's Zoe Duncan Haywood. Uh -huh. But uh, for purposes of being at school and not being tormented, he calls himself <laughs> Joe, which is quite sensible. Uh, where are you from in England? <laughs> I'm not from England. You aren't? No, no. I, I spent a lot of time in England. I was at university there, but I'm American. I just never you lived here. You are not American. Are you really, Angela? Of course I thought I am. you were uh, English. No, no, I'm America. My father's a mining engineer, so I never lived in America itself. We lived in Cyprus in the Mediterranean. Oh, I see. You traveled around the world. I, was born I see. Uh -huh. How did you meet David? How did um, about? You're a model, right? No, no, I've never modeled. You never did? No, no, it's, it's all. Where am I getting all this dirty information? Dirty rumors, dear. You're right. Inquire again, as usual. God, right? I really wish all those photo <laughs> sessions I'd been paid for one of them would have been worth it. Uh, <laughs> no, I. Uh, I was at university and I used to go up to London a lot and I was going out with a gentleman who ran Mercury Records who unfortunately uh -huh. is no longer with us, the late Mr. Lou Reisner. Uh -huh. And um, Mercury decided to do a single with uh -huh. David. Uh -huh. And before they did the single or before they sort of got involved with him at all, I was introduced to him by the A&R man. Uh -huh. um, another a very talented gentleman called Dr. Calvin Mark Lee. Uh -huh. And um, that's how I met him. Okay. We were taken to dinner by a mutual Really? Friend. What kind of a man really is David Bowie? I'd like to ask you that. I know it's very personal, but wait, really. Angela. He's uh, tremendously talented in all areas. And I suppose um, it's just, it, it's wonderful that without harming himself or without abbreviating his career, he's been able to focus and, and do so well in so uh -huh. many areas. Mm -hmm. I, I find that, um, I, I'm a great admirer of survivors, and I think that that's really what too. it's all yeah. about, yes, yes. is being able to, to stay there long enough to do what you actually had in your mind. Uh -huh. And he's done that, so he's exceptionally talented. You lived with him in his makeup years, right? When he did all that wonderful makeup. You were married to him then. Yes. In that makeup period? Oh, yes. yes. What kind of a period? Before that. A long before time that, before really? that. What yes. kind of a period was that? When he, how, when he went through that makeup period, you know, now he's so completely different, you know. Hmm. What kind of a person was David then at that time, you know, with that makeup, wild, wonderful makeup, like Boy George? He thought he was the original. Hmm. I, I don't really, I mean, I don't really know what you mean. He just, we just did it. I mean, it was... That was what we did. It looked right and it felt right and it had impact and uh -huh. it had validity. It uh -huh. spoke, you know, that um, uh -huh. there's no reason why women should be peacocks. It's not correct in the animal kingdom, you know. True, true. And so, um, especially for a performer, really. Yes. And uh, so all of that was just very necessary to the entire presentation of a show that was dynamic and larger yes. than life. Right, right, you know? right, right. When did you start performing in your band, Angela? Well, I've been performing really since, I suppose, for, for two or three years after mm -hmm. David started to do well, uh -huh. because I was an actress when we met. Oh, you were an actress? Yes, but I just got busy doing things uh -huh. with him and, and directing shows and staging shows for him and road managing and uh -huh. doing all that stuff right. that anyone very in love and very devoted uh -huh. does, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. 
And so um, then we started to do well, and it wasn't necessary for the wife to work. So <laughs> I was gracefully retired and able to go and do what I wanted to do. And you really want to do, to be a rock singer, did you? No, I, I have no intention of being a rock singer. I'm a performer. Performer? I'm not a rock singer. And I'm not a singer, well, explain, per se. Uh, explain to our audience what do you mean by just performer. It's just a big difference. Well, because I devise Rock. shows and I write. Right. I write the shows and I, I visualize them. So I can make vehicles that will show a person's talents off. And as I'm a writer, uh -huh. therefore, if part of a show is singing and part of his uh -huh. poetry delivery with backing tracks, whatever it is, then I'll arrange that and put it together and pull Wonderful. it off. <laughs> Wonderful. I really didn't know you were an American. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Where originally in, in America are you from, your folks? Well, I suppose just from the West Coast, Oregon, really. And, uh -huh. and my grandfather was a <clears throat> bootlegger, you know, so uh -huh. they had to have ranches in Canada and, you know, Washington State and sort of do the runs with the liquor, all that stuff. You know, nice fights in right. small main right. streets and all that. You remember your childhood, Angela? I, mean, I don't remember that. It wasn't part of my childhood. <laughs> yes, I remember my childhood very well. Do you? Yes, I had a real, really charmed childhood. A charm? Mm. Uh, here in America? No, or? in Cyprus. In Cyprus? It's an amazing place to grow up, you know. Uh -huh. People used to touch my hair in the street for good luck, you know. It was were very you, fabulous. You were, you were dark-haired then? At the no. Time. You were blonde always? No, always. always a I mean, this is, this is out of the bottle, dear, but, uh -huh. you know, as a kid, it was... <laughs> Very long and was very it? curly and all that uh -huh. stuff that is, you know, Alice in Wonderland type stuff. Angela Bowie, do you consider yourself wild? I mean, as a wild person? I certainly yeah. hope so. It'd be awful to be dead, wouldn't it? <laughs> wild means alive, doesn't alive, it? Alive, exciting. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> the rumor is out here in America that you are a very exciting lady. And you are God. wild. How fabulous. And uh, Whoever started it, thank you for the rumor. It's divine. There are a lot of rumors. I thought you were English. I didn't know. That's why... <laughs> I just didn't know, and you brought a clip for us today, didn't you, Angel? Yes, mm -hmm. of um, the performance two or three weeks ago at the Laza Club. But the shows, of course, fortunately, as all good artists do, we hope, evolving so that, that now there's, I'm doing much more of the show with a live band. Where's, it, where's this club, in L.A. here? The Laza Club, yeah. yes, Santa Monica Boulevard, just sort of, well, uh -huh. Santa, I don't really remember the exact, I think it's Hudson or something yeah. like that. Well, could you set up the clip for us? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah, this is a poem called Success, <laughs> which has been... Uh, it's been greeted with a great deal of criticism. But one of the best quotes in the reviews that I loved was, um, the bitterness was evident. <laughs> okay. Wonderful line, and the bitterness was evident. <laughs> Actually, it's not bitter at all. I, have, I think it's a good sh poem. It's uh -huh. funny. It reminds one that, you know, being successful is all very well, but you got to enjoy it. Right. This is about people who are successful and don't enjoy it. Good. Let's hear it. Miss Angela Bowie. Thank you. Go there. Go there. Success is child.
That's beautiful, Angela. God, that's from the club? The Liza Club, The Liza yes. Club. Here in downtown Hollywood. Hollywood, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Hollywood, Angela? I think it's fabulous. Um, uh, you know, the smog's You've... a little treacherous, but that's all right. You can go to the where, beach and escape. Where do you live, really? Where, where are your... Um, I'm, I'm in the process of moving to New York now. Ah, uh, that's a great place. It's very exciting. This yeah. year I found it um, yeah. too good to leave alone. Yeah, New York is the exciting city. It really is. Um, yeah. L.A. is a very laid-back town. I, I find it... Uh... I've always thought of L.A. really as, you know, kind of cowboy town. Yeah, it is. And whenever people come from Europe, I explain this to them, and they say, no, no, it's so glamorous. I said, yes, but cowboys are glamorous, darling. I said, you know, <laughs> Hunk City. The problem is that, you know, there is the, the weather to contend yeah. with. Yeah. And when it's beautiful, it's, I think in the spring and this winter, it's been lovely. Uh -huh. I think it's just going to be rather warm. Yeah, you're going to love New York. It's a great city. Will you be yeah. working there? Andrew? Yes, I've been working there a lot in the last sort of two months, and I'm going to be based there, I think, while I do the album and uh -huh. just do everything else. Not a good You are doing an play. album right at the moment? Uh, I signed the record deal last really? night. Really? You get the Congratulations. Exclusive. Thank you. Which, which record? Mystery Records. Oh, congratulations. Mystery. That's a great name. Yes, That's my producer's Kim Fowley. I'm very pleased. We've been friends for a long time. We've uh -huh. been talking about doing it for years. And well, that's wonderful. I just had to make him chase me a bit, you know, <laughs> I mean, demand to do uh -huh. it. I, I always have to be absolutely certain someone's been into it. What's the record going to be, uh, the album? What's going to be about all special material and what? Um, I do have to you wait and see. I, I know what it's going to be. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's right. It's going to be You it. have horses, I understand. Yes, Arabian horses. Arabian? Where is that? Where's who? Where's your Arabian horse? Oh, in Scottsdale, in, in Scotts Arizona. In Arizona. You, you have a ranch there? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. And uh, my partner, Andrew Lipka, runs the business for me. I mean, Angels horses, how many horses do you have, darling? I, I, the last count, I think there's 10. There could yeah. be 11. I don't know if any have been born in the last uh -huh. month. I haven't been keeping up on uh -huh. it too much. My announcer, Sherry Beasley, who you just saw, she loves horses. She, she's from Las Vegas, Nevada, and she rides horses, and she has horses also there. Yeah. She's there. A, women love horses. Why is that? More than men. May I ask you that question? <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, all the sort of... I absolutely, I will not take the rise on that scale. It's a good one, but we're going to keep this totally sedate. Okay, Joe. Um, I don't know why. Okay, I just want to. It was a good one. <laughs> Angela, I have a very, very funny and a very interesting gentleman I'm going to bring right now. He is from Hollywood. And I think he's from New York. I really don't know. I'm not going to say because I really don't know. Uh, he is a comedian, impressionist, and he is just wonderful. Uh, he's done a lot of television, and he does a lot of commercials. And uh, let's give him a big welcome. I would like you to meet him, Kenny Sasha. Okay. Hello, Kenny. Hi. How are you? How are you? This is Angela Bowie. Hi. Hello. Yeah. We know each other. We know each other. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm just fine. How are you? I know you? all the good-looking men in That's Hollywood right. and New York. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> How are you? I'm just fine. Busy as a bee. Yeah. You. I just signed something. Did you? Just well, I'm um, leaving town soon. I'm going to be um, playing in. Provincetown, Massachusetts, for Province, the summer. For the summer. The Where? whole summer. A place called the Pie Piper, which is right in the middle of Provincetown. Uh -huh. There from June the 15th till the week after Labor Day. And uh -huh. uh, for Memorial Day of this year, I'll be in Chicago. Uh -huh. Doing a club day in Chicago and that's a great um, town. Never been to Chicago. Never. It's a the wonderful only Angela? major city in the whole country. Oh, it's one, have country you been there? Been in. Wonderful costume jewelry store down <laughs> <in> the <laughs> in the whole Old shop. Old shop. Oh, I really? Shop for costume jewelry. <clears throat> Absolutely. <laughs> it is a great town. I love Chicago. It's a very, it's a city. It's like New York. It's a city. Yeah, except yeah. it's a real you know, city. It's, it's not. It'll be nice in May because I know Chicago gets hot in the summer uh -huh. and cold uh -huh. in the winter. Uh -huh. And being from New York originally, I don't. I could do without the cold winters and the hot summers. Uh -huh. Tell me, Kenny, uh, you brought some voices with us. Actually, I did. You, did. you know, it's so marvelous to come in here to Hollywood with Skip Elo. Isn't uh. he marvelous? You know, Skip Elo and I did Hello Dolly <laughs> together in 1965. <laughs> Isn't he marvelous? That was one. I shocked you, Angela. I knew I had to bring him on for you. <laughs> That's Kenny. So yeah. you. Kenny, <laughs> what else did you bring us, Kenny? Who else did I bring? <laughs> Well, I could always do Betty Davis, but it's the wrong kind of part of town. <laughs> to do Betty Davis correctly, you have to be in Hollywood. <laughs> Sunset and Vine would be super. Two, three, four, dip. 
Not West, not West Hollywood. West Hollywood, no. Betty doesn't cruise West Hollywood. She lives in West Hollywood, but she doesn't really. Oh, she does live in West she Hollywood. She does live yeah, in West Hollywood. She does. You, you were at Greatest in Musical, weren't Last you? Last summer, I, I co-starred with Sandy Duncan, Marge Champion, oh. uh, Armelia McQueen, Bill Irwin, uh -huh. and um, Don Correa in a show uh -huh. called 5678 Dance. Uh -huh. All last summer at Radio City Music Hall. Uh -huh. Big stage. Oh, what a really? big stage. It's a, it is a big stage, It's yeah. awesome. Uh -huh. I mean, you... It's and hydraulic uh, boot, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like up and down, up uh -huh. and down. It was great. It was great. Tell me something, Kenny. You were the original opening here at La Caixa Faux. You have been to La Caixa Faux here? At the, Don't that say that. Club? You made me so embarrassed. I've been trying to get there for six or seven months. It's, it's a marvelous club. Yeah, I opened I've it up. I opened you it opened in, that, um, uh, that club? About three years now. No, for, four, maybe four oh, years. Oh, I'm trying to three see you. I bet you look gorgeous. Oh, he was. He was wonderful. <laughs> well, he I did, just, I, I opened what did the you club. do? I did Streisand and, and Bet. I was going to say, yes. That's Look a little bit. You worked with Bet, didn't you? I did The Rose with Bet Midler. Yeah. The movie? The Rose. I did, I, Barbara, I did Barbara Streisand in The Rose. Did you really? And uh, I specialize in Jewish girls who make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're from New York, right? The Bronx. You're, that's why. Right. The Bronx. I'm a Bronx boy. My parents still live in the Bronx. Have you met Streisand? <laughs> never met, never met Babs. Now, what kind of person is Beth? Bet's lovely. Bet, Bet, um, Bet was on Phil Donahue's show about, uh, I guess, in November or December of last year. Uh -huh. And on Phil Donahue's show, they get, they have telephone calls, and uh -huh. someone called up, and Bet was sitting there plugging her book, and the phone call said, um, "I just recently saw the Share video, and there was uh -huh. someone impersonating you on it. What did you, what did you think about this?" Uh -huh. Well, at first she goes, "Well, well, I, I was, I was livid, but, but, but Kenny Sasha and I are very good friends." <laughs> <laughs> um, we've gone out to dinner, we trade jokes, and he tells me this, I uh -huh. tell her that, and um, she's great now. She's great. Kenny, La Caja Fall, uh, what happened there? I would like to know. I mean, you just what left happened? because you got into commercials, didn't you? No, I left La Cage, uh Oh, wasn't there a big fight? Well, so, no, <laughs> it, it wasn't a big That's fight. That's what I want to bring out. No, it, it, was, it wasn't a big fight. I, I like to grow as a performer. You can right. relate to that. <gasps> You know, and you say it so well. And, and, but and they lip sync there, don't they? They lip sync yeah, there, and, you and didn't. I, d I did. Yeah. But, but that was like years ago, and my career, pro I like my career to grow. Right. I mean, I want to grow. I don't want to be stagnated, right. doing drag the rest of my life. And that's what Lacage is. It's a great club, and people go there and they love it. But I. I felt stagnated, and I felt like I was in a It's box. a lip sync place. I feel yeah. it's a lip sync. But you, were, you yeah. are a live entertainer. Yeah. That talk, yeah. You're talented. You yeah. sing. You yeah. dance. Yeah. And he's funny. He's very funny, Angel. And he very talks. handsome. He's a comedian. Though. You work here in town uh, at a club? I just, I play Tom Rolla's Gardenia, which Vivian Blaine has done. Right, right. I um, interviewed her on my show. Yeah, side. I know. On uh, Tom Rolla's club on La Brea and Santa Monica Boulevard. It's a great club in town. Uh -huh. I was just there this last week. It's very New York, isn't it? It's really, well, Tom Rolla is an old gypsy. Is he? He was in a play with Lauren McCall. Uh -huh. uh, he was in that, and now he opened up his club, and it's a great spot in town. Uh -huh. Great spot in town. So what's happening for you, Kenny, Sasha? Well, this moment? Uh, stardom. Uh, just no, finished, this moment. <laughs> I, just, I just did a, a Monday night, I did a, a reading for a possible Broadway musical. Oh, great. And the reading consisted of uh, Leroy Reams, uh -huh. who's in 42nd Street, Terry Ralston, uh -huh. Keen Curtis, uh -huh. uh, Marie Lalillo, and myself, and it's a show tentatively called Chameleon. Uh -huh. And um, it's a, what it's about, it's about a sex change. Ah, uh, take off on Victor uh, Victoria. May I, no, I want to know about this. Why is sex changes and female impersonators are becoming, and drag queens are becoming so popular all of a sudden? Because it's the 80s. Because it takes us so long to catch up with the Japanese. Yes. <laughs> It's, it's been the highest art form, the highest comedy form true. in Japan for so, so long. long. Yes, well, it has. Even you know. in Shakespeare's times, when Shakespeare yes. originally wrote all his plays and things, uh -huh. men never played the, women never played the female roles. No, it was right. like Lady Macbeth was played by a man, or Ophelia was played uh -huh. by a man, and right. that's how the word drag came about, because Shakespeare's actors used to drag their dresses. But you, you don't do drag. You, I no. saw you work at a club here. Uh, you did your you did an Arthur Blake type of act. There was an, a comedian, and you know Arthur Blake. You familiar with Arthur Blake? Mm -hmm. He is a wonderful person that dresses in men's clothes and has a rack mm -hmm. and all his lovely ladies. Well, I, hats, I always hats. I always and that's felt that do. I always felt that if to come out and drag is too easy, and it's it's it immediately puts you in a category that. It's a category. Right. If I come out as myself, I can put on a wig. Wonderful. Or get a cigarette and do Betty Davis and or, or do anybody. That's all you need. That's all you that's need. All. If yes. you're an actor and you yes. can just pull that off, yes. it's just assuming another character. Yes, yes, I agree. You, you were know. wonderful at that club. What was her name? Kathy that was Ga Kathy Gallagher's. Wonderful little room. What happened yeah. to that room? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it, it wasn't big enough and it wasn't air conditioned enough and it just uh -huh. wasn't right. 
There is a new room opening now. It's becoming very big in town. It's on the strip. Carlos uh, and Charlie's. Carlos and Charlie's. What's happening with that room? Are you? I'm, it's, I've been approached. You have? It's a, it's a nice room. It's a great room. Uh -huh. And to work. Uh, to work. Yeah. Yeah, Jim Bailey was there a few weeks Jim ago. Bailey Jim Bailey was there. Yeah. That would be a good Rivers room for you. That would be an excellent room for you. We should do a double bill, maybe. Well, oh, Couldn't you see you and I together? That would be. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. What fun. is your following of an audience, uh, Angela? Really, your following? Really? Is it uh, because Beth has gays and uh, Robert Streisen has gays? I mean, basically. Let's. Am uh, I correct? Uh, yeah. There's a certain stigma. I have. I have minority what? following. You do? Oh yes. <laughs> All the, all the repressed ethnic guys. Wow. Oh, good girl. Okay. <laughs> it's a good way to be, though, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, Angela. You know, you sort of know you're not getting boring or middle of the road. <laughs> you're leaving for New York soon? Um, well, I'm, I'm doing a show in town this Friday, and then I'm going to San Diego. So Where are you working this Friday? This Friday, Madam Wong's West, and then That's I'm a nice doing, room, Madam yeah, Wong's, yeah. it is. I have a showcase in town, a talent showcase, and I have a lot of rock bands I book, and singers and comedians. Oh, yes, some of And some was... of my bands work Madam Wong's, and oh. it's a nice room. Yes, I'm, it is. I've it never is. been and there. They're very, they're very sort of pleasant. When are you opening there? Um, on Friday, to whatever. I'm going to come and catch you. May I come? Oh, please, oh, I'm yes. Going. I have never seen your work on oh, live. Oh, please do, Skippy. That'll be that wonderful. Would be lovely. Let's go, Kenny. I'm uh, sure. I'm at Madame Wong's, I'd love to go. You're, are you working tomorrow at, at the um, weekend? No, I'm leaving Saturday. I'm going. I'm playing the Russian River up in San Francisco this uh, weekend. Oh, this show goes to San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, good. In, a, in about okay. three weeks. This well, will be come shown. and see us in San Francisco. The Russian, the Russian River. River. Russian River. Yeah, that's a nice room. Michael. Michael uh, Greer used to work there yes, a lot. Yes, he did. What happened to him? I haven't seen him around. I don't know. I have I no know. idea. Another funny young man, very uh, impressionist mm -hmm. comedian, mm -hmm. and he just disappeared from Hollywood. Well, I, I sort of like to b categorize myself as the first of a new breed. Uh -huh. um, not, you know, not doing impressions of people and not yeah. doing it in drag. It's the first of a. Nobody's done it yet. I want to be the first. And Angela, what do you think of the audiences in LA here? Then compare with the audiences in. England or New York? What do you? I mean, they they like to boogie more. The, sh the original show that I was doing on the East Coast was um, it was it was very exciting for me because it was it was a very adoring public. Uh -huh. When I came to the West Coast and tried to do that that sort of straight poetry and back and tracks and everything, they really wanted to boogie more. So I had uh -huh. to adapt the show here and give it a band and lots more songs, lots more singing. In New York, everyone, they all panicked as soon as they heard yeah. that the show was going to uh -huh. change it. They went, oh, no, 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 you must still do that show. And I said, no, no, I'll keep some of that in. Uh -huh. I think it's just um, people like to be entertained. They want it to be, to move faster. In New York, you know, there's still that whole element of. Yeah. Tell me, Angela, do you have a man in your life right now? Several, Skippy. <laughs> Not to be personal, darling. <laughs> All right. Dude. Now, I always like to keep a couple on the line, you know what I mean? <laughs> One on the back burner. Oh, those cold with the <laughs> No, hot, lusty hot summer night. Summer night. Not yes, I, I must have, because I, on the aeroplane coming back from New York, nursing a raging desire to stay there, I wrote a beautiful new song, which I should be doing on Friday uh -huh. night, which you'll get a chance to hear, called speaking without words and it's it's a good title if you if i write something that good then i know i must be feeling pretty uh -huh. good about uh -huh. something uh -huh. <laughs> that's great thank you kenny how about you tell me what do you think of the audiences in uh LA no, I want you to ask him if he has a man no. in his life. Ah. No, 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 I have three oh, girls, Angela. I have three girls and two men. So, you know, I, you have I, any I other hobbies? Around. I whittle. Tell me. I whittle. Look yes. how thin these hands are. What do you, what do audiences What, mean? audience in LA? Yeah, I love out. audiences in LA. You do, really? I, they're sophisticated and snobby, but so am I, so why not? But New York audiences. New York audiences. Are, are that way too. They are? New York audiences are snobby. I mean, all audiences are snobby. If you come out and do an act uh -huh. and, and it's good, they'll love it. But you come out and do an act that's like, uh -huh. and they'll be sno and they're snobby, they're uh -huh. going to say, well, don't bother. Audiences are like, you know, it, LA and New York are the sophisticated audiences. Yes, it's right. when you go into the middle of the country, true, darling. True, true. Like Chicago. No, Chicago's a sophisticated town. Iowa or uh -huh. Indiana, those kind right. of places. You don't play. This is, yeah. Does this go to Indiana or yes, Iowa? Yes, it does. It does. It does. Love it in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's better. They just like to be entertained. They do. They do. Yes, they do. Yes. Do a little 
Beth for Beth us. Beth Midler? Oh, well. Well, well you, come well, on. Just we can do, can, can, how dirty can we you get can the jokes? You can stand up and do can it if you wish. One you can, dirty joke? You can tell a dirty joke. One right. dirty joke? Please, okay. do. Well, I had this girlfriend, and this girlfriend, this girlfriend was a Jewish American princess. And this girlfriend goes into her gynecologist's office. Gynecologist <laughs> get, tells the girl to get into the stirrups. The girl puts her legs in the stirrup. Gynecologist says to the Jewish American princess, my God, that is the cleanest little hole I've ever seen. Jewish American princess says, I should hope so. I have a girl in three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's, not That's wonderful, that cheap? Kenny. It's cheap. What other impressions do you do? Kenny? Vocally, I do uh, Billie Holiday. You do Billie, Billie Holiday. Holiday. Billie, yeah. Billie Holiday, That's Louis wonderful. Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald. I do um, Jennifer Holiday. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and where will you be? Barbara Streisand. Yeah, Barbara Streisand is very good. Yeah, right, true. Where will you be appearing uh, uh, so that Angela can see your work before she leaves? Oh, God, I don't know. Is there nowhere. Any place? Nowhere. No. I'm not going to be back playing in closed. LA. Just, I just closed. I won't be back in LA until the fall. Really? No, I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm lucky I'm, to well, get I you. Shall, I shall come and see you at the. Um Wherever yes. until Memorial until Day. Memorial, yes. yes. What, what was it? We'll Massachusetts? Massachusetts. Right. I remembered. <laughs> I don't write it down. Usually, I'm sort of. Mm. Did you get a place uh, right away? Uh, you know, it's very difficult to get an apartment in New York when you move. Out. No, 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 no. My children are coming. I can't stay in Manhattan. I, I've got an apartment there with. Um, oh, really? The inspiration for the How song. Many children. No, I, I shall go to Long Island. How many children do you have? Two. 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 One from David and. Great body for a woman with two children. Yes, yeah, she's wonderful. She's very tall. How tall are you, Angela? Five eight. Five, eight. That's why I thought you were a model. I don't know why. No, no, I tried to model. They didn't want to know. Oh, you're marvelous. No, they, they absolutely, they refused. They didn't want to have anything to do with me. And so then afterwards, when I started to do a lot of, you know, work uh -huh. for the newspapers and everything, I always used to really give it to them. You know, I go, no, no, you didn't want to hear about it before. You know, let's not be difficult. I really, I it got up my nose, because I tried uh -huh. when I was a youngster at college. I right. wanted to make extra money. I used to model. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. Gloves and shoes. And <laughs> <laughs> Angela, I want to thank you very, thank very you much for coming. Much. And thank you for taking my personal answer. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Give me thanks. Thank you very my much, pleasure. Kitty. My pleasure. Very thank you for coming. Sure. Kitty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wrap for now. This is Skippy Lowe. We've been looking at Hollywood today. Thank you. Thank you. Love this wrap. Wrapping it up. Thank you.